everyone, and welcome back to Robinhood Coins. This is TJ, and today we're going to be searching through six boxes of half dollars. As always, we're going to be looking for silver, proofs, errors, varieties, anything to add to our collection. And we'll be giving away something we find from the hunt. In order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video, and then be sure to watch our next video where we'll pick the winner for today's giveaway. At the end of this video, we'll pick the winner for our last giveaway on our last video that we posted. Every video has a giveaway and all you have to do to enter is comment and watch the next video. Well, as you can see, all of our boxes are NF String and Sons, so we're going to jump into this first box. So we have box number one laid out and ready to go. Unfortunately, there wasn't any silver enders, but hopefully we have some silver on the inside. So let's get in there and find out. Look at that. Open it up and we get a dime. That is no good. Five, ten. Yep, we got shorted. Nineteen half dollars and a dime. And it looks like we may have silver. Yes, that is good stuff. Roll 15, and there it is right there. We have a 1967. We have a 40% silver. That makes up for the dime that we got earlier in the box. That is good stuff. Well, box number one was not a horrible box. We did find silver, and anytime you find silver, that is a good thing. Got that 1967 right there. We did get gypped with the dime. Not even a silver dime. And then we had two NIFCs. We had a 2006 and a 2007 Denver. Or sorry, actually the 2006 is a Philly. We have box number two laid out and ready to go. Unfortunately, still no silver enders, but hopefully we have some more silver on the inside. Let's find out. Oh, and we got silver. Look at that. It looks like we are going to have two silver, and we are on roll number eight right here. So we are going to have one right there, and it's a 64. It is a 90 percenter, and we have a 40 percenter right there. That is all in that roll. We'll have Maid Marion go through the rest. Look at that. We have a 90 and a 40. Roll number eight. Well, box number two turned out to be a good box. Anytime you get a 90 percent silver in a box, that is cool. We had that 1964 right there. Looks like it is minted in Denver. We also had the 1966 in that same roll. Two in one roll. That was cool. And then we had two NIFCs. The 2009 is going to have to go back because of that roller crimper damage. But uh, the 2002 will probably go ahead and keep. Box 3 is laid out and ready to go. Unfortunately, no silver enders. But... Hopefully, we have some silver on the inside. We're going to kick it off with roll number one. So I'm working on roll number 50, and I think we just found a magic coin. It looks like a 1994 Kennedy half dollar, but listen to this. Versus. So I am pretty sure this is a magic coin. It's ironic because on the last live stream, live stream, I was just saying how long it's been since I found a magic coin. So that is super cool. Let me go get a cup, a plastic cup to shake this in until it pops apart. It might be hard to pop apart though because it is so rusted. Let's give it a try though. All right, the littlest helper here is going to try to shake apart this magic coin we got a plastic cup keep your hand over it and shake 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 gotta shake it really hard <laughs> Woo! 
We were all done with box number three and all we got out of that was an NISC that's going to have to go back because of the roller crimper damage. And then we had this coin right here which I really feel is a magic coin. It sounds hollow. But it is locked up frozen. Me and my little helpers both took turns shaking it in a plastic cup and it would not come apart. Uh, I think after I'm done with the boxes, I may tear it apart with a pair of pliers just to see if it's hollow on the inside. I know I'll ruin it, but it's not like it's opening up on its own. We will see later on. So now it's time for box number four. We have it all laid out, check the enders, no silver enders, but hopefully we got some silver on the inside. So let's kick it off with roll number one. And look at that, we have a 2010 Philadelphia right there. First NIFC of the box on roll number 20. Well, unfortunately, box number four just gave us a 2010 NIFC minted in Philadelphia. But the good news is we have some more boxes. Here's box number five. No silver enders again. Hopefully, we got some silver on the inside. Oh, look at that, and we have silver. That looks like uh, roll number 11 is gonna give us our first silver of the box. Let's check it out. It's a 1965 and it looks pretty nice too. Look at that, that's a nice one. For being in circulation, that is a nice one. We have silver on the board, roll number 11. Well, we are all done with box number five, and we did end up with that 1965 in pretty nice condition. And then the only other thing we got was this 2008 Denver NIFC. It's got a bunch of dings, so I think I'm probably going to send that back. But anytime you find silver, that is a good box. The exciting thing is we still have one more box, so let's crack in here and see if we can get some more silver. And we have a proof. Look at that. That is exciting. And it's a nice looking one. 1980 San Francisco proof. Make sure not to touch it. Just that is, that is nice. Well, that was a pretty fun hunt. So here's the overall wrap up. We ended up with a total of five silver, one being that 1964 Denver right there in decent shape for being in the rolls. We had the nice looking 1965. That was cool. Then we had 66, 67, and 1968. We ended up with one proof. Been a minute since I found a proof, so that was... A nice find right there. Decent shape too for being in the rolls. And we had seven NIFC. We got gypped on that dime and not even a silver dime at that. And the magic coin turned out to not be a magic coin. It, I think the hollow sound was because these layers of metal on the outside of the copper were lifted away from the copper so whenever you were clanking it it sounded a little hollow but as you can see here in a magic coin the copper layer is actually split they hollow out the copper layer and that's two and you would be able to see a split right down the middle of that copper layer if this was a magic coin so it is not but it was did, did sound very hollow, so it was worth ripping open to find out. Overall, it was a real fun hunt. Well, this is the part in our video where we are going to pick the winner of our giveaway that we did on our last video, which is the Millennium Falcon video. And the item that we're giving away is a hand-poured a copper arrowhead. It was one of the arrowheads that we got from Fill the Board in a mail call. So, let's go ahead and pick the winner 
I've already filtered for duplicate users, so we're going to get the number of unique commenters. We had 157 unique commenters, so let's see who's going to win that copper arrowhead. Captain Jigga. So cool, the mold reminds me of the frame Han Solo was frozen in. Captain Jigga, don't forget to email me at RobinHoodCoins at Yahoo.com to claim your prize. So the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be a 1967 and a 1968 Denver that we found during this hunt. It'll be an 80 percenter as I affectionately call them. And as always, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video and then be sure to watch our next video where we're going to pick the winner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed the hunt. It was a lot of fun, especially finding silver to give away to you guys. If you did, please smash that like button. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any giveaways or videos and we will see you on the next hunt.